Ron, I'm apparently you just said in the locker room we expected this. Yes. A lot of people outside the building didn't. So <coughs> what gave you the confidence you could do this today? Well, I think the way we prepared this week, uh, I thought it was exceptional. I thought our guys came to work on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, I thought their their attitude, their 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 effort, and and the way they they prepared was was what you have to do to give yourself a chance to win the game. And we talked about it, and we talked about it last night. You know that that you shouldn't come here hoping; you should come here expecting. And that's what I think our guys did. I said they just expected good things to happen today. Graham misses an extra point, then hits the after after what he's gone through over the last few months. How much does that mean? You think, Graham? I think it means a tremendous amount. I mean, it's one of those things that you just knew he was going to get us an opportunity. And and again, you know, it, it's just one of those positive things. You know, we just got to keep working through a lot of things and continue to work. Um, th this is, you know, th this is the the watermark. You know, everybody's going to compare themselves to these guys, and I thought our guys came out and played well against them. Brown, what do you make of Ken Newton's performance today? Oh, I, I, I think as I said, um, you know, the, the one thing that we've been waiting for is for for him to be able to, to, to practice every day and you know work on his timing, and, and, and he did it. I mean, he was still rusty; he missed a couple throws early on, <coughs> and we saw that. But again, it, it, it you saw it in practice, and as I said, you know, the three days of practice were as good as we've had. You know, Wednesday and Thursday were extremely hot days, warm days. Our guys got a lot of good work, and then Friday cooled down for us. And I thought I thought Friday's tempo was really good. And for you to see him produce like he did today, four total touchdowns, is it, was this a big step for for him, for you, and his whole team? I, I think it was a, a very good step for us. I, I really do. I think our guys understand, as I said earlier, I mean, th this is who everybody measures themselves to. And to be able to come out and battle these guys here in New England, I think, says a lot for our guys. And, I, and I'm very proud of every guy in that room. Ron, the second every team, uh, not every team, but a lot of opposing teams that tend to wilt in those final minutes against the Patriots in Gillette. What did it take to withstand that push? Well, I, I think, you know, just guys making plays, uh, you know, especially our quarterback. He, he made a lot of plays. Devin Funch has stepped up tremendously. Um, you know, I, I, I got to give a lot of credit to those guys, you know, with Kelvin Benjamin. And, you know, we were down to three wide receivers, you know, Demir Bird, like he hurt his arm, so he couldn't come back in. And, and, and all three of those guys that we had left, Shep included, you know, they battled. I thought our running backs battled. I mean, this was a team effort. You know, we talked about that last night, you know, that, that you know, don't hope to be in this position, expect to be in, and I, I think our guys bought into it. Ron, uh, readjusting in game like you had to do with the secondary when Kurt goes down, uh, the, the challenges of that and how those young guys did? Well, I thought the young guys played well. I mean, I'm uh, real interested to, to, to watch and see what we, we, we do, we, what we did on tape and how, how the guys looked. I, I was real pleased with, with some of the efforts that we got from, you know, from those young guys getting opportunities, you know, and, and it just seemed to be one guy after the other, too. And, you know, we got a few guys nicked up. Uh, you know, we're going to have to come back and have that same attitude we had all week in terms of preparation. Seems like after that 33-yard penalty, Mike Adams really stepped up in the secondary to, to maybe uh, redeem himself a little bit, made a couple good plays. I, I think so. I, I, again, I, I think some guys knew they had to step up just because of the, the situation. Kurt Coleman goes down, and, and Mike Adams had to, had to take over, and I thought Mike did a nice job doing that. And there's a lot of guys that played extremely well today, and, and, and I'm real fired up for them. Ron, did you key in on any of the miscommunication in the secondary on the Patriots, uh, the Kansas City game? <coughs> well, there was, you know, the, the one, the first touchdown to Funches, you know, th there was something that, you know, that, that went amiss, and, and, and Devin was completely open. So, you know, obviously they had a little trouble with that bunch formation we have. Ron, you, um, I'm sure you talked about it already, but Gano, was that the biggest field goal that he's hit, do you think, in his career? No, uh, here, yes. I mean, in, on a away game, but at home, he, he, the one he hit against Indianapolis, he had actually back to back in overtime. He had won to tie the game and then won to win the game. So, He's you know, he's made some big kicks for us, and this was this will be right up there as one of the really big ones. Too early to call this a springboard game. No, you can build off this kind of momentum, and you got to take it and use it. Now you, you can't waste it. I mean, you got a real tough opponent coming up next week. We go up there uh, to Detroit and play them, so we got to be ready for them. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can use this as a springboard to build off of. But you know, we still got uh, what do we got? Twelve left to play. And why did it seem that you had so much confidence in your passing game, especially down the field? Well, I think the biggest thing, more than anything else, was was again, I, and and I've been talking about it, it's just a matter of our quarterback getting the timing down. Um, you know, I've talked about it, and you know, you can ask our local guys; they'll tell you. I've been saying it. He's been making good decisions. It's just a matter of him getting his timing down and delivering a good ball. Um, he was able to do that today. You know, there's a there was an interesting stat I saw where where his passer rating is is, is like a 115 or 120 throwing the ball downfield to uh, Kelvin Benjamin, and uh, so. You know, it's, it's, there's a confidence he has in his receivers that they'll go out and get the ball.
We didn't see the guy who was 29th in the pass rush no. coming in. No, you, you saw the guy that, that that's competitive as all get out. Um, he knew he was playing against one of the all-time great quarterbacks in the league, and he wanted to show that he could he could play with the guy, uh, and, and he really did. I mean, you know, Tom Brady's a measuring stick for all quarterbacks, and I think that's what our guy wanted to come out and play well today. I know you kind of touched on it earlier, but how much did those reps in practice and the fact that his arm was feeling the best, how, how much did that factor into this? I, I think it factored in tremendously. You know, again, the, the three good days of work, um, you know, and, and, and just his energy level, just, you know, this, again, <laughs> it, it, he's, it's, he had to go through the process, and he's going through the process, and he'll get better. Um, you know, he's still not where he needs to be, but, you know, we're going we're gonna to be smart with him. We're going to continue with whatever our new normal is in terms of, of, of his, his weekly exercise. But if we can continue to have these types of weeks, I think he's going to continue to keep his timing down. Well, you mentioned the clip on just a little bit before. Obviously, they had the wide open touchdown, finished with two, but also looked like he was battling through something on the third down. Yes. Dash. It just seemed like a pretty thorough day all the way around. Yes, it was. He was, he was battling cramps. I mean, he, he, was, he was locking up, um, just, you know, just giving everything he got out there for his teammates. And, you know, th this is th you know, part of the reason why we went out and drafted him like we did. We just think the young man's got that kind of ability. Uh, when Mike involves Cam in the run game like he did today, does that also, you think, help Cam get yes. in more of a rhythm? That does help him get more into a rhythm, and, and you know that's why I talk about using him judiciously. You know, being smart about when you do you do put the ball in his hands as a runner. Um, and again, it's not like we want to give him 10, 15 carries, but we want to be smart about it. And I know Mike really, you know, thought about it. I thought you know the play calling, the rhythm he got into several of these drives was was very good. It Ron, appears the specific play call, uh, Fozzie Whitaker's touchdown, uh, gave you guys quite a bit of momentum, and, and it seemed like that you kind of used a lot of that um, motion and that. that well, uh, again, what we're trying to do is you know create the right type of matchups for us. You know, we have some 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 backs that are explosive. You know, starting with Jonathan as a power runner, inside runner for us, and, and then Christian obviously with his versatility and Fozzie with his ability out of the backfield. You know, I just think that those guys give us something, and, and, and again, we got to put the ball in playmakers' hands. Coach, what did you see from uh, Kevon Seymour and Demetrius Cox, the guys that were not on the preseason roster? Well, um, you know, you, you see the you see the athleticism of of, of Kevon. You know, he he was, you know, he was physical. He, he did some nice things, and again, you know, he's, he's still learning and working himself into our system. Um, I thought Cox did a nice job when he got his opportunity to come in. Uh, unfortunately, he uh, he did something, and and so we had to. Yeah, we went with Colin Jones, a guy that's gone in and done some things for us before in the past as well. So I just think that, uh, you know, this was this was one of those things where the guys, you know, stepped up and the next man up attitude, you know, carried us through. Well, how big was that last drive of the first half for the for you guys? Were you able to take the ball down and score, and knowing you had the ball come back in the second quarter <laughs> and finish off that drive? Well, it was good, but you know, the bad part is is is, is we gave Tom Brady too much time to go down and kick a field goal too, just before the half as well. So it's one of those things. Probably the biggest thing, really, most of the thing else was coming out and early in the third quarter being able to score. Ron, you really wanted to disrupt Tom Brady and disrupt that line up front. Uh, Julius Peppers, two sacks today on Brady. What did you see from him battling that shoulder injury? Oh, I thought, I thought he, he, was, he was excellent, you know, and, and uh, he just, you know, he, he fought through it. You know, he, he played, a, played a heck of a football game, you know, and, and again, part of it is, too, is you, you've got to be able to get Tom off his mark. I mean, he's, he's deadly accurate when he sets his feet and, and he'll deliver it. You know, real good ball. We've seen it. Where did you want to get the ball on that last drive? Because you, know, you were obviously going to let Gano kick at some point, but what was your target? Uh, 38 yard line. What's it like defending Brady at the end of a game? <laughs> you know, when there was 13 minutes and 58 seconds, I think, or no, 12 minutes and 58 seconds right after we scored, I looked up and thought, boy, that's still a lot of time. Um, and, and that's what it's like. I mean, you just you wish there was, you know, like it happened. You just wish you didn't have any time. The guy's just tremendous. You played your base defense pretty much on that second drive, correct? Yes, we did. We, we you know, with, with all the injuries and, and having to shuffle guys in and out, we went between base and nickel for the most part. Ron, your confidence in Gano, did, did it ever waver? I mean, no. you brought in the young kicker to compete with him. Yep, and, and that was probably the best thing that happened to him. You know, the one thing that we saw with Graham was that he had a tremendous training camp and, and his confidence level is very high right now. And, and again, that's what you want. You want this it's like a hockey goalie. You want the guy playing confidently. Did you say anything to him after the missed PAT? No. No. You know, it's one of those things where, for the most part, you know, he's, he likes to be solitary, so you leave him alone. Ron, there's, there's a lot of new pieces in this Patriots secondary. Did you see that as a weakness coming in? And I well, I wouldn't say it's a weakness. I just say it's one of those things that, that eventually they're going to get it together. You know, Coach Belichick's a, a, a solid defensive mind and one of the best in the league. He'll get it figured out. This is just a matter of time for them. 
Ron, uh, how tough was it losing Kurt and any sense on, on the severity? I have no idea on, on the severity of, of any of the injuries of any of the guys that went out. Um, I know a couple guys came back, but we'll find out once I get back in front. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <coughs>